Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel, S3 Cloud Hub. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic for anyone looking to enhance their online presence. How to set up AWS Route 53 to redirect a domain registered with Hostinger to an EC2 instance. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned developer, this comprehensive guide will walk you through each step, ensuring you can leverage the power of AWS for seamless domain management. Let's get started on this exciting journey into the world of cloud computing. On AWS Route 53, enter end domain redirection to EC2. I'm excited to guide you through the process of linking your hosting a domain to an EC2 instance using AWS Route 53. In this video, we'll cover three essential steps to achieve this. Launch an EC2 instance on AWS. We'll go through the process of setting up an EC2 instance with default network settings, ensuring it's ready to host your application. Configure Route 53. After launching our EC2 instance, it'll show you how to configure Route 53 to point your hosting a domain to this instance. This step is crucial for directing traffic to your application seamlessly. Test the domain redirection. Finally, we'll verify that everything is working correctly by testing the domain redirection to ensure that your visitors can access your application using your hosting a domain. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer looking to enhance your domain management skills, this tutorial has something for everyone. Let's dive right in. First, we need to launch our EC2 instance. Log into your AWS management console, navigate to the EC2 service, and click on Launch Instance. Select an Amazon machine image, AMI. Choose Amazon Linux 2 AMI. Instance type. Select T2, micro for the free tier. Configure instance details. Leave the default network configuration as is. For subnet, you can choose any available subnet. Choose existing security group. Under configure security group, select an existing security group that allows the necessary inbound traffic. Ensure you have HTTP. Allow inbound traffic on port 80. This allows web traffic. SSH. Allow inbound traffic on port 22. This allows SSH access. User data. In the advanced details section, find the user data field. Now, let's configure our EC2 instance to serve a simple web page. In the user data field, paste the following script to set up an Apache web server and create an HTML page. This script installs Apache, creates a simple HTML page, and starts the web server. Launch instance. Click review and launch. Select a key pair and launch your instance. After launching the instance, let's get the public IP address. Navigate to your EC2 dashboard. Find your instance and note the public IP IPv4 address. Now, open a web browser and enter your EC2 instance's public IP address. You should see the root 53 demo page we just created. This means our server is up and running. Next, we need to configure root 53 to connect our domain S3 Cloud Hub. Info to the EC2 instance. Here's how to do it. Navigate to Hosted Zones. In the root 53 dashboard, click on Hosted Zones. Enter your registered hosting a domain name. S3 Cloud Hub. Info. Select Public Hosted Zone and click Create. Configure DNS name. Once your hosted zone is created, you will see a list of records. Note the name servers, NS records, provided. You'll need these to update your hosting a domain settings. Adding an A record. Click on create record in your hosted zone. Select A or IPv for address for the record type. For the record name, leave it blank to use the root domain, I, E, S3 Cloud Hub, info, or enter www if you want to create a subdomain. In the value field, enter the public IPv for address of your EC2 instance, which you noted earlier. Click create records to save. Now, now, let's link our hosting a domain to root 53. Log into your hosting account and navigate to the domain management section. Find your domain and locate the DNS settings. Replace the existing name servers with the name servers from root 53. Save your changes. After updating the name servers, it may take a few minutes for DNS changes to propagate. Once propagated, open a new browser tab and enter your registered domain name. You should see the same root 53 demo page hosted on your EC2 instance. And that's it. We've successfully set up an EC2 instance and configured root 53 to point our hosting a domain to it. This powerful integration allows you to efficiently manage your domain and ensure reliable uptime for your applications. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Leave your questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.